Sasquatch! UK Antifa, who's the hardest? Now then, once again, Del Boy Diablo, Diablo TV, Miami Casuals, IMF into Miami firm! Coming at you. Like and subscribe like you're supposed to. Keep further my exploits because this thing is getting heavy. You got the Pie and Mash Squad. Those guys seem to be the top far right or anti Muslim. I don't know what you want to call them, sort of group. It's hooligan base, it's casuals base. I know that much. They cover their identities, which is similar to a black bloc. You got other far right guys across Europe doing that as well. I don't know too much about this Pie and Mash squad. Pie and Mash, fash, fascist. That some people would say it means. Other people say it's just because they use Pie and Mash to fuel up for fighting. But I know that they fight against UK Antifa, and the thing about it is, I'm not too impressed by what I'm hearing with this UK Antifa. And furthermore, I'm at odds with them because I'm nationalist, I'm Stalinist. So those guys are anarchists from what I see, and they believe in open borders. In socialist nations, we don't believe in open borders. You could be executed if you try to enter illegally into socialist nations such as China, Cuba, North Korea, Laos, Vietnam. So going on, I do hear a lot of stories I don't like, and that pertains to this Pi and Mass squad, and I'm not able to get to the bottom of it. In the comments below, help me out if you can, if you know something, because I can't even tell where this Pi and Mass squad is from. They're all over England. I hear about them in Portsmouth. I hear about them in Southampton. I hear about them in Brighton. And it seems like every time I hear about this Pie and Mash squad, I hear about one of their heavy hitters, Matt, Matt Young. Yeah, Mad Matt Young. That's what I hear his name is. And the thing about that guy, he must have been injured in the past or something, and he got a bionic right arm, which cost one million pounds. So they call him the million dollar hooligan, and some people call him that. Or million quid hooligan, I forgot it, it was something like that. You know, but I'm hearing the second and third hand. And the thing about it is, I heard that he goes around knocking Antifa members out with that bionic arm. Beep, 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 beep. He folded like 10 different Antifa guys up in Brighton area, I think it was, and left him in a heap. And then the, the, and the lucky was a garbage strike, so the garbage man wasn't able to take him out, and they recovered eventually. But I don't know where Pi and Mash is from. I don't know where they congregate. I don't know where they at. I don't know where this mad Matt Young is from. But you can't, Antifa, I want you to spread out like horseshit and find out something. Now, the thing I do know is there was some situation in Brighton. Allegedly, the top boy of Brighton Antifa is named Richard Purcell, and he was arrested for doing some stuff. They calling him a grass because he got out too soon, but the thing about it is, what I'm reading about, they say that the other bystanders were saying that he shouldn't have been arrested because his behavior wasn't intimidating, it was more eccentric. Now, what in the hell is eccentric supposed to mean when you're in a street fighting situation over far right politics and far left politics, baby? I don't understand it, but I want to get to the bottom of it. But as for Pi and my squad, as for Matt, Matt Young, the man with the bionic arm, I want you guys to search for them, find something out. And this cannot be allowed to stand, otherwise maybe I'll come over there and have to restructure and rearrange a UK Antifa. Goodbye for now.